Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Squid Game Season 1, Episode 4, Stick It to the Team. Um, this show is so good. It is messed up, it is traumatic, it is so well written and acted, and I just am both scared and excited to see what happens next. A reminder, as always, that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. You can also sponsor shows, vote in bowls for new shows, and yes, but without further ado, let's go. Oh yes. Who is this? Is he like an insider? Is he the insider working for the team? So they're aware of this? Or is this like dodgy corruptness? Yeah, this oh this is dodgy corruptness within it. Makes sense. She's getting an in with the powerful people she thinks can protect her. Oh. Does he know that he knew what it was? Oh, bless them. I feel mean now for suspecting the old man was in on everything. <laughs> uh, it's just fun to have crazy theories sometimes. You know, I think he is feeling relief. But why didn't he tell him? No. Oh, don't just be so forgiving. He knows, he suspects him at least. Jesus Christ. It's just, money has such a hold on us. As, oh, look at them now. Money has such a hold on us as a, as a society. And it shouldn't do, it's ridiculous, but it does. Money buys you wealth, freedom, security, as well as pleasure and things. I do want to know what that equates to in dollars or pounds or whatever, because like, they were buying things for thousands of thing of so is that like million i suppose although billion is a number that doesn't even make sense quantifiably so it probably could still be multiple millions that is not how cues work Excuse me. oh <laughs> the selfish acts of the few screw over the many and the rest don't care is she gonna say that was brave of her. They're going to kill her in the next game. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because you stole it first. I'm trying to say we need to share. Yes, that's exactly how sharing works. Some people get everything and other people get nothing. A.K.A. Capitalism. Is he dead? you can kill with one punch and that was multiple they don't care the rules like that don't matter here but again then i'm scared that he's making such a big deal of himself that like what if they punish him somehow fucking hell the money went up does that not incentivize them to just murder each other before the games that's probably why they gave them so little food. They hoped this would happen. Oh, he was swapping, of course. They're harvesting organs from the bodies. Black market organ transfers. We should take shifts. Too awake, too asleep. And they've made such a big deal of themselves. I know you don't trust people. <laughs> yeah, from this place. You've at least seen that, like, they're the ones that went to the guy that was down. He is the one that shouted out how he was dead. If anyone here seems trustworthy the most, it's them. Oh. That's why he's been looking at him funny. <sighs> Have fun! Oof. Why does he know where this guy sleeps? Oh shit. The special game! It's not a game. I mean, I understand that that's the point, but... Uh, 
I guess they just don't question squares when they do stuff they shouldn't do, but he's gonna get himself caught. She was too brave. This is not a place to maintain your moralities. I hope he dies. I mean, ideally I'd want him to be in a prison, but... What the fuck are they doing? I mean, I know what the fuck they're doing, but... Holy shit! Run, run, run! Get to our team, they will fight for you, I think. Maybe. Oh, Lord Almighty. Oh, shit. This is awful. Actually awful. Yes, kick him there. Good. God, how? I mean, it's one thing participating. Oh, bless. Oh, I love my team. It is one thing to participate in games where people around you die. I just... It's another thing to just be like, yeah, Corn's cool, gonna murder everyone. Like, the way that they have managed to get into their heads, and I think it helps that they have picked some of the most desperate people, people that have maybe already gone to extreme measures in their real lives over certain situations, willing to stab and do whatever, and, like, we know that the, like, gang guy is, like, a despicable human. But I just... Oh my god, this is horrendous. And the fact that so many people are participating. Hide under a bed. This is awful. How are so many people just willingly murdering? Oh, is she coming for them? Oh. In this world, he didn't have to do that. Oh. Please end the game now. Oh, that's him. And this is part of their ploy. Was that a signal from him? Because he's in on it. I'm sorry, I still am saying that, but. Oh, shit. Is he going to have seen by now that his brother's already dead? Or, the only possible good option is his brother's one of the freaking guards. I just, at this rate, even if they have the money, even if they can clear off their debts and make it in the world, the trauma they have been through, they'll spend all those billions on therapy. <laughs> You're in this team now. They will look out for you like they did tonight. I think. Sung Woo, I don't know for 100%, but. Is he gonna die? She's very good at getting what she wants. Well, you know, someone's finding some pleasure at this dark time, so that's something. Is she gonna kill him if he says no? I do think you're in over your head here, man. Is that code? Is the coughing like a code for their meeting or whatever? The terror they're now all feeling. Fuck, I'm so stressed for him. He's gonna get found out. He just needs to figure out that they're up to something because then he can use that against them and they can't turn on him. Ten. We don't have ten on our team. Jesus. 
If there's strength involved, maybe. Gonna get her, right? She's going to kill you. She's gonna murder you, and I hope she does now, kind of. I mean, I don't, ideally, but you know, in Squid Game. Seriously, after what you just did. They're not going to be happy she's brought back a woman, but it's fine. Or oh, is it going to be... <laughs> that is still a very good line. I mean, he's not happy, but you're mostly men. Though they're, given that it's meant to be a team of a game of strength, a lot of them look like weedy men. <laughs> Though at least I feel like, given that most of the main characters are on my team, they should be fine. They're like treating them like children. Like children, sit down before it's your turn. Shit. You know, these people are going to take pleasure from the fact that they're killing them as well. Not just like, I'm sorry, it's you or us. Actual pleasure. Oh lord. Do you just hang there until they're released from their side of the rope? Holy fucking shit. Whoever came up with these games, both in the world of Squid Game and in the real world, should see a therapist. And that's also how I feel about the writers of Criminal Minds. Was that a signal that he's the one to go to get chopped up? That's all men. And some of them look like they maybe visit a gym, unlike our men. If the old man's in on it, they're not gonna let him die. And I'm so sorry, old man. I'm just gonna run with my theory because it makes me think less about the trauma that I'm watching. If he can find out that they're doing this, then if they ever find out he's not really 29, he has leverage over them as well, which will give him a little bit of protection from the suspicious people. Okay, yep, I like this. The Lord let you come here, so he's not fast. If he has a strategy, listen to him! He's so dependable. Oh... Oh, they're using tactics. It's not just about brute strength. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Can we go to the side and cling onto one of the bars? That will throw it off balance, they won't expect it. No! I mean, I'm fairly confident that it's gonna work because that's most of the main characters, but I still would have wanted to watch the ending. <laughs> um, oh, that episode beyond messed up um i'll start with the police officer oh, I, I, his name is never stays in my brain um i think hopefully he's gonna at least be safe from the guy that suspects that he's not 21 29 is acting weirdly because he's gonna realize they're up to something so if they try and accuse him he can be like oh if you out me i out you you know mutually assured destruction that's not gonna keep him safe from the wider world but it is gonna give him someone that he can blackmail into helping him maybe or at least he can blackmail into not blackmailing him um, but I'm still very worried for him and I think at this point his brother is either dead or was recruited to be one of the guards and well, at least one of those his brother would be could be alive to like face judgment but neither are particularly good options. I'd probably rather he was a guard because at least he was alive but then would you want to think that your brother was okay with this? I don't know. I think his brother most likely is dead. Um, and then the whole concept of giving them just enough food for so that they knew something like that would happen, they knew a fight would break out, they they're behind it. They're just 
there are some mastermind psychologists behind this. Um, the idea of there being no punishment if you kill someone outside of the game is just messed up. Um, it makes sense. There are no rules. They read the rules. The rules didn't say you may not murder another competitor. And the fact that the money goes up regardless. Horrendous. Um, that whole sequence of them all knowing that when the lights go out, that's all going to happen. And I suppose there's some rule that you must be in your beds when lights go out, because otherwise I would have been like, let's just stay together. Let's get a defensible position and just stay here. That was horrendous. Just to think that, like, the girl that was brave enough to speak up about who had taken the food was murdered, you know? It just horrendous. I cannot stand Thug Man and his crew. I don't particularly... <laughs> I feel like his his ex-girlfriend as she is now I don't like her because she's willing to screw over other people to get what she wants to an extent or at least she doesn't care that she jumps into people who hurt people etc but I don't dislike her either because I truly do believe she's just fighting to survive she's fighting for her herself she's putting herself first and that's not gonna make her like my favorite but I don't dislike her I don't like her either I just I find her a fascinating character um and I wouldn't mind if she joined our team and stayed that way because I feel like she would fight tooth and nail for our team if she believed they were going to do it back. And they did do it back for the pickpocket girl, whose name I also need to learn. Oh, it was... Oh, I have to write their names down because with my memory problems at the moment, I cannot keep them in my head. Um, I love the when it all got absolutely dire, she did run to them, she did trust. And what did he do? The minute Jihan saw Thug Man behind, he put her behind him. He tried to protect her so he could fight. You know, and then they all came together. She fought as well because they're a team. I loved that so much. And then the old man. Now, I am gonna stick with my crazy conspiracy theory that he is secretly part of the game. You know, someone on the inside steering things where they want them. Obviously, that is not necessarily the case, and that most likely isn't the case, but personally, I think it's fun sometimes when a random theory pops into my head to just run with it, and if I'm running with it, then him being climbing up to the top, um, he, there would have been a secret way for him to get there easily or something, um, or potentially before it even happened, they would have he would have got out of his bed and crept somewhere so he could get there, um, and that was a signal that, like, when enough, maybe he's even the mastermind behind everything maybe he's even the guy arranging everything and so he's in charge now i'm just getting ahead of myself but that was a sign that when like enough has happened enough fear has happened and enough violence has happened the moment he chose to start shouting was the signal to stop it because that was the exact time the guy stopped it which could be a coincidence it could be that it was the two minutes they wanted or you know i don't know but that's my and my other theory is then when they asked for his name he suddenly he couldn't speak and he didn't say it. Now, now that could just be an intensely old man who's who's very ill, who has just been intensely traumatised, just brain not functioning, you know, in that moment the reality of it all sunk in. But I also feel like it could be because he doesn't want them to know his name, because if they survive this he doesn't want them to be able to trace back to him, in the same way that all the masked people don't show their faces. Or maybe if he said his name they'd be like, oh I've heard of you, you're a reclusive billionaire or something. I mean, I don't know. I am getting a little over the top with this theory, but that is my current crazy theory. Um, but then on the flip side of that, if he is who he says he is, just shatters my heart into pieces that, you know, this man that has lived his whole life, has had a family, has found himself in such a position that he genuinely believes that this is better than just seeing out the last days of his life and the outside world getting by, um, and him being so scared and shouting like, I'm scared, we're all gonna die, what are you doing? Like. I honestly have such respect for the people that didn't come back. Like I said in the last episode, I don't, that doesn't mean I don't have respect for these people. For these people, I just wish that there were more services and things to help people when they got into such desperate positions so that they wouldn't feel forced into it. Because like I said, that consent they gave was not real consent. Um, it just, oh, breaks my heart and as much as that was like the big murder time and maybe the next games are just going to keep coming or something so they won't go to bed again but I feel like if they do get put back to bed are they going to be like guards in the room or is every night going to be like a bloodbath type night if that's the case then I feel like just once the lights go out all congregate to somebody's bed two three people a couple of beds like a couple of people can sleep in them the other people stay on guard alert them and swap over after a certain amount of time you know it's not ideal, but it would do. Um, and if the old man is telling the truth, him staying up on guard of them is very sweet. Then we have, um, oh, and I'm glad that Pickpocket Girl has finally joined their team, that she finally has someone looking out for her and that 
I also, I like her because, I mean, I cannot imagine the position she's in and the things she's been through in her life, but the fact that she knew they wanted a man and they probably had a little girl gone up to one of the men that had been like, me man, me not come with you. You know, she probably wouldn't have had overly much luck with any of the men, but the fact that she saw a young girl on her own and knows what that feels like, she reached out to her. I'm very intrigued by this new girl. I hope she's gonna be one of the main characters. I wanna know more about her. Um, in general, just more female characters would be great. Um, thug guy, cannot stand him. It's the pleasure he gets out of it. And you know, even their opposite team was kind of like, yeah, we're getting them to the end, we're gonna kill them. Now, obviously to a degree, I can understand that kind of being a, oh, thank God that's a team of weaklings, we're gonna live. You know, I can understand it. Like as much as you might not want, a good person might not want to feel those emotions, it is perfectly normal to sort of look at the team opposite you and to think, thank God we're stronger than them, we're gonna live through this. Um, but they, the people that were taking pleasure, like that guy was like, kill them, <gasps> kill them, <gasps> just disgusting. And the way he was just murdering. Now, obviously that's the kind of life he lived on the outside. I feel like he abandoned his morals long ago. Um, and in the real world, he deserved prison for his crimes. In this show, I kind of hope he dies in a game. Um, although at this rate, I feel like his ex, I'm so sorry, I cannot remember her name. I hope she kills him. That would just be perfect. Justice. If she was like, I told you I'd kill you. Um... The bloodbath was intense, it was terrifying, it was horrific. Um, like I said, no amount of money is worth the trauma they're going through. Um, it really helped to solidify the teams and I mean I don't know that it so much got the weak links as it just got people that hadn't been lucky enough to form a team or hadn't... I don't know, I just, yeah, I just, it's just awful. Um, Oh, I can't imagine what that was like. So then you have that awful time afterwards where they're dealing with it, they're checking there are no more weapons, no more illegal weapons as well. Um, and the next game, tug of war, but where you literally get fall to your death. And like that isn't a quick death. That isn't necessarily a painless death. Obviously no one knows how you feel when you die. But you know, that moment when they're dangling, waiting for the rope to be cut, they know they're about to die. There is nothing they can do. They can't even let go to make it happen quicker. They're at the mercy of when they decide to send the guillotine down. And then we saw that one of them wasn't even dead when he hit the ground. He was brutally, painfully, horrifically injured, but still alive. Oh. Seriously, whoever comes up with this needs to like see some therapists. Same with the criminal minds writers. Get help. <laughs> you, you, you have genius minds, but they're twisted. Get help. Um so we now we know what the guy with the inside source is doing and he isn't secretly working for people running it there is within this organization there are some maniacs who have decided we're going to run an undercover black market organ smuggling business because if we get found out we won't just be brutally shot in the head of all the places like yeah i can kind of get it there are a lot of bodies that just keep getting shoved into the furnace no one is going to miss them anyway and if they were to be traced they trace them to the organization rather than to you but at the end of the day, would you want to lie to you around these guys? Like, if anything, I think I'd have approached them and said, hey, I have an idea of a way we can turn even more profit from your evil squid games. Although I don't think they actually call them squid games. I don't know. Um, they are running such a risk. And especially the guy going in is running such a risk because he could have died in any of these games. I mean, yes, he's been given help, which does help. Like, he picked the easiest shape. Um, but, like, the red light, green light thing, they couldn't save him from that. If he wobbled a bit, he'd be dead. So I feel like that's going to end in misery for them, but as long as it helps the policeman out a little bit, I'm okay with that. I love this show. This was a fantastic couple of episodes. Couple of episodes. The, the first three episodes, four episodes have been fantastic. This was a fantastic one as well. The ending, <gasps> I need the next one. Um, but yeah, uh, reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, along with all my reactions. You get that two weeks in advance. The edited version will make in advance. And thank you for watching.